Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Now and Then Sub podcast with Robin and Kaylee. I'm your host, Robin. And I'm your other host, Kaylee. And here we talk about everything from now and then. And then sub. That's right. It's been a minute. We're back. We're back. Can't believe it. Yeah, missed y'all last week. Missed you last week. Missed you too. That was a long time not seeing you, not talking to you. It was a very long time. Um, Hope y'all missed us. (laughs) Because we're back. (laughs) Because we're back. And uh, what are we talking about this week, Kales? Well, I thought maybe a little holiday recap since we have been gone for a little while. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um, I had a great time. I went home to my parents' house and got to hang out a lot with them and sis and saw some family for Christmas that I hadn't seen in years. Oh, nice. Which was awesome. That was a great surprise. Love that. Oh, uh, it was a surprise? Yeah, we didn't know we were going to get to see them, and then we oh, got to cool. see them. So it had been years, so that was good to That's great. spend some time with them, play games, hang out, catch up. Mm-hmm. Um, got to see all my little munchkins, went on the munchkin world tour, as I like to call <laughs> it. Got to give them all their gifts, you know, kiss all the babies, you mm-hmm. know. As one does. Mm-hmm. Uh, played a lot of games like i said so my family is a gaming family we played dominoes we played 42 we played Catan. nice we'll throw back to your halloween costume heck yeah i love Catan. sis is obsessed with Catan, and she was dying for someone to play so mm-hmm. i played multiple 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 times with sis Fun. we played with two people three people four people we had a good time did you win multiple multiple times <laughs> um and sis was like i'm not helping you anymore because i needed like a refresher <laughs> right because it'd been so long i since would I definitely played. need a refresher if yeah I play. she she's like on it yeah um so she was helping me i say helping she was i was like hey i'm gonna make this move if it's really really dumb will you just tell me mm-hmm. and she was like yes i'll tell you and then she was like after i started beating her she was like i'm not helping you anymore you can make <laughs> All the dumb moves. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> yeah. So I had a really, really good break. It was relaxing mm-hmm. and it was fun to see everyone. And I did the um, ugly Christmas sweater bar crawl around little old Lake Jackson that mm-hmm. I was talking about. And I had multiple people at the bar crawl come tell me that they listened to the pod. Aww, and it was just, thanks, you guys. It was just like some people that surprised me and it just warmed my little heart. I was like, what? You listen? That is so sweet. Yeah. It's, that did not happen to me in Austin, Texas. Well, your <laughs> Austin, Texas people need to get it together. Like Lake Jackson gets it together. Right. Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was, that was nice too. It was a cool. good, little, good little break. And did you receive anything at your household? I did receive something from my sweet, sweet, dear friend, Robin Barty. Mm -hmm. Um, She sent just the cutest little Christmas bouquet of red and white flowers with ribbon in it to Mm -hmm. my uh, parents' house. And Merry Christmas to the McKees, it said. And I thought that was very sweet and said... Take care of Kaylee for me since mm-hmm. I'm not there. It was You said something the other day of like, I would just die if someone just sent me flowers. And I was like, got it. That's because I never, ever, yeah. like, it's so rare. I get they flowers. They were calling me and they're like, where is this house? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, my parents' house is, we live out in the yeah. country a little bit. Like, yeah. we're definitely outside of the small city of Lake Jackson. I was like, it's where D meets E meets F. And they live, <laughs> they, and we're on like a fort yeah. in the road. Yeah. And it's not crazy. Like, there's no numbers of houses out there. Like, yeah. you have no I was like, idea. It's right where those three come together. And yeah. she's like, okay, I think we got it. Yeah, there's no like mailboxes yeah. or n- with numbers on so them. So funny. Um, it is confusing if you don't know. Can't tell you how many times we've tried to tell pizza guys where to go in yeah. the dark. Um, but yeah, they found me and it was a great surprise. Yeah. At first, I was like, I'm sorry, who is sending me flowers <laughs> on this random day at my parents' yeah, house? Yeah, it was like Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah, it was Eve Eve because we were we were actually hosting um, my friend Shelby's little daughter, Nora. It was her first birthday. Cute. And so it was at my parents' house. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, they have the best hosting house, big porch, big barn uh, for the guys to go play cornhole while all the women hang out in the house and mm-hmm. on the porch. Yeah. Um, and so we were hosting a party and the flowers showed up and everyone was oh, like, perfect. <gasps> everyone was like, oh my God, who sent you flowers? That's great. Cause they were supposed to come the day before, but oh, yeah, no, she was, was like, she was called me good. she was like, make sure that somebody's going to be there. And I was like, yeah, I can track her location. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not creepy at all though. Yeah. I swear. I was like, if y'all have any trouble, I'll just give her a call and she'll run home and get mm-hmm. them for you from you. So yeah. it was a great surprise. Yeah. And thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Um, my Christmas was pretty chill. All my family lives here. So we just had it, you know, morning here and then over to my parents and Christmas Eve at my parents with my mom's famous white chili, which I mm. love. And then uh, my like chicken, white chicken. Yeah. Chili? Oh, yeah. So good. Mean. And then my children each received a 
Quest 2 VR set. Mm. And boy. And were they pumped? Uh, oh. Okay. One was, but they warmed up to it. Now it's like the obsession. We brought it of over course. to watch the Longhorns game the other night. Wah, wah. And yeah. it was such a hit. They, they brought both of them over there. My niece got one too. Because mm-hmm. um, why not? And I swear the adults like it more than the kids. I've been playing the heck out of that thing. Been doing some Beat Saber. Been doing some Pistol Whip. Okay, so what does that mean? Give me, give me a quick beat rundown. Beat Saber is like where the blocks come at you and there's arrows on each side. So you have to, fig- depending on where the arrows are, you slice it up or sideways to the beat. Mm, okay. Got the Queen pack. Got the Lizzo pack. Uh, got the Panic at the Disco pack. So you're has- like jamming while yes, you're doing? Yes. Okay, I got it. Uh, it's a workout. And then like even it. more of a workout is Pistol Whip where you have to shoot the zombies there's different levels, different kind of worlds you can be in, but you have okay. to really squat down because they shoot at you and you can duck around the the bullets so you don't okay. get, you know, killed. And man, after the first time playing that, so sore the next day. I was like, my <laughs> hammies. Um, I'm so not people used are, to this. People are always pleasantly surprised. They're like, dang, that's such a good workout. I'm like, I know. And it's that's so awesome. fun. So yeah, that was Christmas. And then New Year's Eve. I was here with Robin. That's right. I hosted some friends and I had invited Kaylee and Charity had plans and then those plans didn't work out. So y'all came over and we yeah. had a blasty blast. It was a blasty blast. We played a lot of games. Oh my Back gosh. to the games. Played so many games. Before you even came, uh, I had given my friends who were here some games for Christmas. And mm-hmm. so we were playing games all day long and then all night long played games. Yeah, I, some new games. I showed up with obviously two bottles of champagne and a lot of alcohol to drink but then also a whole HEB bag full of mm-hmm. games for us to play yes because i'm always prepared it was very fun we stayed up not too late i mean 2 30 oh yeah not too late it's not bad <laughs> no sure Robin, for Robin. new year's <laughs> i mean it, it's appropriate yeah not it bad. was it was fun it was really fun so we have pictures that we already posted on Instagram, so mm-hmm. go check them out there. Happy New Year to y'all. Yeah, Happy New Year. Ready for another great year, 2024. 2024, baby. Is it going to be our year? Maybe it's Let's our year. It. I think it is. I like it. All right. All right, you ready to get into this thing? Let's do it. All right, let's kick it off with the and then. Okay, my and then is ringtones. Oh, hell yeah, ringtones. Oh, they were just Everything. 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 I remember her having like my, you know, crappy old flip phones and paying for like a few bucks for like the yeah. little snippet that was your ringtone. Uh-huh. And I'd be like, Mom and Dad, please, I need yeah. a new ringtone. Like I have to have a new one. But were yours like actual songs? Yes. Okay. See, whenever they oh, first no. started out, I remember the like, you could buy like the $4 for the dee 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 dee. Yeah, the little tunes that they put on there. No, it was. When you could start getting real songs, and I was like, I need another song, and I would be begging my parents to buy the new ringtone mm-hmm. that I had to have. Did you have the same ringtone for everyone, or did you have custom ones for people? I I feel like I had the same ringtone for everyone. Mm-hmm. I may have, for like my best, best friends, had yeah. one that we all was like our favorite mm-hmm. song. But for the most part, it was the same one, but I just... And y'all, the weird songs that I had as my ringtones. Like what? Low by Flo Rida. Mm-hmm. She had the maple bottom jeans, you know. Mm-hmm. I had a little uh, "Grills" by Nelly. I can sing every word to "Grills" by Nelly. I absolutely love that I song. I can't think of that. Let right me see now. you. What? 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 Your grills. Mm-mm. That was probably you, after oh, my you Nelly know era. This song because my Nelly era in was like it's good and hot in bottom here. Rose gold. Mm-mm. One time when my, my mom God. was driving me to school in her purple Sebring with the tan uh cover Uh uh-huh convertible sebring Uh uh-huh she flung my nelly cd out of the window and said i don't like listening to that rap crap no i was so pissed i would have cried (laughs) i love nelly still love nelly still listen to nelly slaps i had him had him as my ringtone still jam him now i'm trying to remember i don't remember like do you have a ringtone let me ask you this now yeah you have like specific ones for people no 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 i have one that's very obnoxious just for everyone yeah Hey, I just met you. Yeah, that's you. right. I didn't know if that was for everyone. And this is crazy. Uh, I never have my ringtone on, but when it's connected to my car play, I drive a Bronco. When it's connected yes, to my does. car play, it doesn't matter what I'm listening to, podcast, Spotify, radio, at what volume, it goes, hey, I just oh met my you. God. Scares the bejesus out of yeah. me every time. My kids and I always crack up and we just start <laughs> screaming, hey, I just <laughs> met you. Um, but it's before funny. that, for years and years, that's been mine for years. Before that, for years and years, it was Texas Fight, mm-hmm. Longhorns. You didn't even go there. She doesn't even go there. 
I don't even go here. Yeah. I know, but I grew up in Austin, and both of my parents went to UT. So okay, fair enough. Much bigger UT fan than Texas State. Hey, um, eat them up. Go Bobcats. <laughs> uh, is that the thing? It's eat them up. Rawr. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're moving on now. <laughs> uh, and then before that, for a long time, I had – see if you recognize this. Dun, 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 Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Somebody that you used to know. Yeah. I just love that song. Okay. I'll, I'll go through periods where I remember that song again, and I'll go watch that music video where mm-hmm. he paints. Oh, my God. So don't good. you just – the music video is weird. Yeah, it's so good, though. It is. Um, Don't you just love that when, like, mm-hmm. you discover a song that you were obsessed with, oh, yeah. and then you just listen to it on repeat all yep. the time for yep, me? Yep, yep. All the time. I know I definitely had custom ringtones for people because I remember – I can't remember a specific song, but I can remember the feeling of when you hear that song from across the room and you're like oh. yeah even custom text tones for yeah. specific people yeah. mm. I, I feel like in movies a lot they do it where like older movies where they would have you know some like mean song when their wife would call yeah, or yeah, something yeah. which i always thought was funny. my mom too. still has the custom ringtones for people but it's just the apple ones like Whenever my dad calls, it's like, <laughs> and then whenever my sister calls, it's, I think, like a light guitar strumming mm-hmm. song. I don't know what mine is because I never call her when I, I'm with w- her. I wonder. I should find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. well, I don't have an end then. Okay. <laughs> it kind of is, though. All right. I want to talk about perfume commercials. Okay. That's what I'm talking about? I feel like that's a and then and a now. So it's let's, an and then and a now. Let's talk about it. What's the deal with perfume commercials? <laughs> <laughs> um. How random they How are? How random they are. I just, every time they come on, I'm like, what is this? Uh-huh. This could be an ad for anything and nothing. I don't want to buy it. I want to buy it just out of curiosity. So I did a little digging about some iconic perfume commercials. Okay. So the one in 1994, CK1. I was born in 1994. <laughs> Yowza. So. I mean, I was. I don't know. Eight, <laughs> but uh, it had Kate Moss in it. And she's like. The only one. And in just her oh. accent, she's like, a fragrance for a man or a woman from Calvin Klein. Oh, you're nailing that. I'm sure that was terrible. That was a little more Stifler's okay, mom. Than- I, I- <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to say this, though. The fact that we're even talking about it, that means good marketing. That's true. Okay. I mean, any publicity is, is good, good publicity. publicity. I mean, I just think about, like, <laughs> J'adore, Dior. With Charlize Theron. Yeah. And then um, it doesn't. It doesn't make me want to like, buy. Why do we need Johnny Depp digging a hole in the desert? We never do. What does that, <laughs> we never do? What does that have to do with your perfume? Is he sweaty from digging the hole? That he's now playing he's, a guitar. He's then now he's driving. To he sees spray a the, buffalo. The cologne. I don't know to hide the buffalo. Scent. I just feel like Emma Stone laying in a field of flowers, <laughs> or like Scarlett Johansson and my, Matthew McConaughey in a Martin Scorsese directed. Short film. I don't know, Robin. Tell me what it smells like. I. It has sense of this and but that. But you remember it. That's it, what matters. It makes you feel like this when you smell it on other people. But instead of just like random words, withering. Dior. Dior. Stares. <laughs> but you remember stares, it. Whis- withering withering doesn't, doesn't make sense. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> okay. okay. Weird dancing. Lots of weird dancing. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's always like... I feel like it's always like frolicking through yes. the fields of flowers yes. for me yes. in a fl- very flowy dress. Uh-huh. And beautiful they look person, gorgeous, a beautiful person, perfect makeup always. and hair. I mean, if it can transform me into that, I'll buy it. See, that's some ad- that's some advertising. You want to look like Natalie Portman? Buy this perfume. Buy this perfume. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> all right, that's all I had. Okay, <laughs> Shall great. we get to the now? Let's go to the now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, for the now, mm-hmm. now that we're in 2024, how about a little quick recap of some top moments from 2023 in the pop culture world? I like that. I did have to write 2024 today for the first time, and it was so weird. Oh, my God. I haven't done it yet, but it would be, it's going to be weird. I wrote 23 about three times, and then I was like, oh, wait, those are all It wrong. usually takes a couple weeks, I mm-hmm. feel like, to get used to it. Um, okay, so 2023 top moments. I feel like we had some big things going on. We had on. some bangers. I... I'm going to have a hard time narrowing mine down, but we'll try to make this not like the longest segment ever. No promises. But we do need to, <laughs> we do need to cover. There were some big ones, some really big moments in 2023. I think it was a great year for pop culture. It was. I've uh, heard some competing, um, you know, what, opinions people saying that it wasn't that a great it year. It wasn't. Yeah. But I beg to differ. I feel like there was a lot. I know. A lot going on. Why don't you start us off? Well, 
I think one of the biggest and one that we've talked about, Lord knows how many times now, the Eras Tour. Never heard of it. <laughs> um, it had taken over the world and social media in 2023. Mm -hmm. Took over my life when I went to the Eras Tour show mm -hmm. um, with Sis. We had Did an you amazing bring, time. Bringing that purse that I got you, the clear one? Yeah. I don't think we ever talked about that. Yes, Robin got me a clear purse because it's clear bag policy. And they have like the ch interchangeable straps. straps. I need to go to more concerts. So I got me a little strap and hit it with the little clear. Uh, mm -hmm. It had to hold everything because sis didn't have one. Ah. And so she's like, you got me. So I had everything in that nice. clear bag. Um, but yeah, the Eras tour took over the world. I watched, can't tell you how many TikToks of yes. different views of Taylor Swift performing different mm -hmm. songs and all the things. And it's still going. I still see them. Yep. Because um, now she's going um worldwide over to, yeah over to asia mm -hmm. um in february at least and then i think she's just continuing to add dates i'm not mad at it yeah she's coming back to the u.s you know like october of 2024 or something like mm -hmm. that i know i really want to get tickets i'm like and will will robin go no will i do what i did last time where i think you actually actually like I had you some. actually went through with the purchase for me and then we sold them to your friend yeah yeah i had buyer's remorse and now i have buyer's remorse remorse well, if you want to, I would totally go again. Yeah. I don't know if I'm invited, but I would totally I think, go again. I think I'm down. I really, I, I kind of feel like I did go because I watched the movie so many times, but mm -hmm. I no, would not. It's I, not wouldn't, the same. I wouldn't mind because I'm sure by then she'll change some stuff. And Oh, yeah. Yeah. You okay. Yeah, you, I'm down. You let me know. I'm down. Okay. So, Eras Tour uh -huh. across the whole year. Okay. What you got? Um, I mean, in general, we have, of course, Taylor just Swift Taylor and, Swift in general. <laughs> yeah. But more specifically with Travis Kelsey and just the best relationship ever. And I wanted to choose just one iconic moment. Mm -hmm. So I went for, at first I wanted to do, you know, the first appearance. But I think the one that really made us all just freak the F out was oh. her coming off stage in Argentina and running up to him and jumping into his arms and them kissing. And it was 100%. so cute. I have chills just thinking about it. We've never it. seen anything like that. I've from never, her. never, never, never. You can tell she's really just happy and just being herself and just putting it all out there. Did you see their New Year's kiss? Yes. So cute. All right. So that was one of my definite top moments. Okay. Cause on mine was just her relationships in general this mm -hmm. year because it was the Joe Alwyn breakup. Right. That, was, that was in 2023. Like, that was like February, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then she's with old. Maddie Healy. Supposedly. Well. I think they just like hung out a few times. Okay. Well, they were doing something for like a little quickly, while. Quickly got out of that. Dunzo. And then the Travis Kelsey. So mm -hmm. that's all for the Taylor Swift. I mean, I'll stay off the Taylor Swift. She was not the Time Magazine person of the year. So we don't need to harp she on that She was all much. over everything. Yep. Okay. Um, what else you got? Okay. Rihanna just totally hard launching her pregnancy at the Super Bowl. Okay. Wait. Did you know why that happened? I think she couldn't zip it. Yes, she she ended up going in for rehearsals and couldn't zip her tracksuit. So she was like, well, we're debuting the baby today. Yep. I just, I'm not going to lie. I did not think she was pregnant at first. I was just thinking good for her for not trying to hide her post baby body, not realizing that her baby was eight months old, which is also fine if a woman has not lost her right. baby weight you know right you don't have to ever lose your baby weight but i was just like good for her for like oh no i think body was positive like, and then everybody's like pretty sure that's a baby belly and i was like yeah that, that yeah no looks i was more like, accurate i go i i remember seeing it and my parents had super bowl party and me and all my friends are over there and i go hold on did i miss rihanna's pregnant and they were like what no and i go look at her and they yeah. went Oh my god, she has to be pregnant. Yeah, so I think then we I all were just like, no, she's not. No, I go to not. Twitter and it was just everyone is yeah. like, I guess Rihanna's pregnant. I guess Rihanna's pregnant. Yeah, I think maybe we were all thinking it, but we all just were like, no, this is good for her. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, my next one is Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas divorce. I mean, the divorce heard round the world. I mean. Could not shocking, have seen that coming. Shocking for me because I think they are both just so cool. Like, yeah. she's so cool. Obviously, Game of Thrones. Love mm -hmm. her. Sansa. Sansa. And Joe Jonas. Obviously, I went and saw the Jonas Brothers. And 
I'll say it again. His arms are just getting bigger and bigger. The yeah. horse looks good on him. It does look My good on him. My man is looking nice. And she seems to be doing just fine, hanging she, out with her, Taylor. And her friend's making out with some guy in London. I'm mm -hmm. like, you know. Get they, it, girl. They both seem to be doing well. So I just hope that they figure it out for the kids because that was real messy for a, a little bit. They right. got it together. They so got I'm it hoping together. they keep it together. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to co-parent on two different continents. So Yeah, I, I can't imagine. That so. doesn't. He lives in New York, right? Yeah. So at least it's like. Right there, a little quick five-hour flight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was, I mean, there were some other big breakups, but that one certainly was the biggest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me personally, it was one of the biggest this year. Yeah, for sure. All right, what you got? Um, Taking it, you know, down a little, little path here, Matthew Perry's passing mm. was just absolutely devastating. Yeah, devastating. So sad. Mm hmm I still see people talking about it and making tributes to him and Me talking too. about memories that they had of him and everything. So all we can do is just, Keep on watching Friends and remembering him and supporting him. And don't worry. Oh, I shall. I'm not wearing my bracelet. Betty gave me that bracelet for Christmas that says, Bet it. Oh, yeah, that's right. And anytime that my kids see it, they'll go, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry. I will continue to watch yeah. Friends and honor him because Absolutely. it's my fave. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next one. Barbenheimer, baby. Yes. Hello. Barbie and Oppenheimer mm -hmm. coming out on the same day, both being... Huge. huge hits yep did um, you ever see oppenheimer yeah i didn't i saw it in theaters and i saw barbie in theaters i saw barbie in theaters a couple times but not oppenheimer yeah i saw them both um obviously very different yeah um you know oppenheimer was good it was just a really long movie yeah it also isn't my normal style of historical totally. drama movie no barbie like took over our lives in a different way than i think oppenheimer like could ever well, it do, but it kind of depends on who the person is. Yeah. Like, you know, we like Barbie, sure, but right. there's a lot of people that were obsessed with Oppenheimer. Again, I'll say it was a good movie, but it's not my cup of tea. Right. Barbie was great, of course. Yeah, it's a cultural phenomenon. Yeah. Anytime you even say it, I'm just like, I'm just can. Like, it's just mm -hmm. there in my head. Hi, yep. Barbie. I don't think we <laughs> greeted each other or anyone that we saw for weeks, for weeks after. without saying hi, Barbie. Hi, and Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, my last one, I think, is the Golden Batch. Oh yeah, that big deal. Also a huge deal. I don't. I mean, I knew that we were excited about it. Different format, so cute. Blah blah blah. But I mean, it was a huge thing. I think they got a whole new fan base, not just yeah. age group wise, but like people like me who just were never into that mm -hmm. franchise at all. So. Well, well they needed they needed a little revamp. So yeah. I think it was a good move on their part mm -hmm. to change it up a little bit. Has anybody checked on Gary and Teresa? They're still together. I checked. <gasps> Aren't they getting married like this week? Is it this week? I think it's this week. Why did I think it was like late January? No, it might have been when this comes out yesterday. Oh. January 4th. It, are you sure? Yes. Did you see who's officiating it? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it Jesse? No, oh, it's Susan. Oh, weird. Yeah. Kind of love it. I kind of like it, too, because I liked her. She was funny. I feel like January 4th is ringing in my brain, and that's a Thursday. Okay, well, I'm not sure, but maybe. Okay, well, maybe we'll be recapping that Maybe next week. we will be next week. Um, All right. But they're still together, so. Good for them. Good for them. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if they do a little Golden Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. Nothing announced yet, but we'll see. With our girl Faith, maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. My girl. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, my last one. I don't know if this was a cultural phenomenon, but it was for me, mm -hmm. okay? Daisy Jones and the Six. That show is amazing. Robin's going to watch it. I will. And when you do, I need you to tell me so I can rewatch it with, with you okay. and we can talk about it on the pod. But yeah. um, one of my favorite Instagrammers, do you follow mm -hmm. Not Skinny But Not Fat? Mm -hmm. Amanda Hirsch. Yeah. She got into it too, but like a little bit late yeah. uh, when everyone else did, but... Yeah, it's one of those shows that when you're in, you're all oh, in. Oh, no, you're in. Yeah. It takes over your your being. Mm -hmm. Again, guys, it's Finnick as the main guy character, Sam Claflin, uh, yeah. and Elvis's granddaughter. How long will it take to watch? Like, how many episodes are we talking? Oh. Like, it's just I think there's one ten. season, right? There's just 10 episodes. Okay. It's yeah. a limited series. I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know why you're like this either, but let's not be Wait like until this. Hey, 2024, new year, new Robin's going to watch the shows she needs to watch. <laughs> Remember this when I get to my wreck, okay? <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> you're going to be like, what the actual hell? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll remember. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it for 2023 okay. big moments for us. Okay, great. Okay, now my question is, 
Do you have any predictions for 2024 in the pop culture world? I have an I wish it were so okay. prediction. <laughs> okay. I think I think for sure Taylor Swift will like permanently reside with Travis Kelsey. Okay, I could see that. I don't know if like they'll always be at his house, but I think that they are like together like that. Serious. They will always be in the same bed. Home. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey. <laughs> um, I would love it if they would get married. Do you honestly think they will, though, in 2024? They could. Okay. I think if my prediction would not say that they are, I could see an engagement maybe I don't in 2024. Think that they would, I don't think they would do the whole secret wedding thing because of the whole Joel, Joe Alwyn rumors and all yeah. that bullshit. I think that they would just plan a party. Everybody thinks they're showing up to a party. Surprise, it's a wedding photographers are there they release the photos themselves so they control the narrative i just don't think 2024 because she's still touring i just don't think that it's they would lot. do the whole let's get engaged make that a public thing then let's everybody's gonna be speculating when the wedding is where the wedding is paparazzi are gonna crash it like I, I, that just doesn't feel like the vibe of everybody knowing about it beforehand and it also doesn't seem like the vibe for this new and improved not even new and improved just being herself version of taylor to keep it a secret yeah. I think she'd invite all of her fabulous friends and like do it in their backyard or something or some yeah. restaurant in New York or something like that. Maybe. But and I don't know about 2024, but they could. Possible pregnancy. Robin's like all the steps that's, in 2024. That's the order of, of probability, though. Definitely living together. I'm like 60, 40 on they're going to get hitched. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like 5% chance she gets pregnant. All right. Bold statements. Maybe they adopt a cat together. 10% chance. Now that. Yes. I could see. Yeah. She always is with the cats. Like, she can take a break from touring, like, just, you know, I move, know, some, like, move just, some dates around. I'm or, just thinking of, like, planning a wedding and all that. But, but you're she saying she's... plan shit. I don't know. She got money, honey. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she gets married this year. Who yeah. knows? Okay. Okay. Um, I got a couple. Okay. Um, starting off with Taylor Swift. Reputation, Taylor's version coming. It's time. And... Some banger vault tracks. Oh, yeah. And I say this because obviously all the vault tracks are pretty much bangers. But especially, I think, for reputation, I'm just thinking of how the whole energy shifted mm -hmm. in that stadium mm -hmm. when I was at the concert, when she went on her reputation piece. And yeah. I'm like, these vault tracks have to be bangers. It's such a good album, too. And like the bangers. like you said, how the whole vibe just changes. It does. And we all know what everything's about. We all know what the lyrics are about. Yes. We, we remember it. Like, where were you when oh. Kanye got up on that stage? Everybody remembers 100%. that moment. 100%. And everybody's seen Miss Americana. And, you know, yep. we know what happened. And the Scooter Braun of it all could come into play. I can't wait. Oh, I need it. I need it now. People are going to be ready to call their lawyers. <laughs> yes. And yes. And when it comes out, we will draft it. Yes. Promise. A promise to y'all. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Okay. We my should listen to it together live and then like interject like clips of our reactions. Okay, deal. Okay. Deal. Cool. Okay, my next prediction. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking some sort of One Direction reunion. I could see that. I, I feel like there's been a lot of reunions lately. The Joe Bros got back together yeah. and Sync got back together for the Trolls movie yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I know that, um you know, I watched The Voice with Niall, who's mm -hmm. a judge. And he will make nods to his fellow One yeah. Direction members. And I'm like, okay, so they're good. Right. Um, is there any, not to make another Taylor reference, but is there any bad blood? Like, whenever they broke up, was there any, like, controversy or any drama? One Direction? Yeah. Yes, I think there was some controversy. So there was some controversy. That was, what, 10 years ago? It was a long time ago. But I think I, based on my research and what I've heard and everything, mm -hmm. that most of them are still pretty good with each other. Yeah. So... Plus, you grow up and you move on. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe a little One Direction reunion of some kind. Maybe it's not a full on. Would you go see them tour? I would if it wasn't like outrageous. I mean, I like One Direction. I'm not a huge mm -hmm. One Direction I'm fan. I'm like, I but really I, know like. I really like Niall. I really yeah, like Niall. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think that's. You know, my opinion. I'm sure I know some other ones. You do. You do. Yeah. Um, I really like Niall. Mm -hmm. I really like Harry. Mm -hmm. um, Isn't Zayn kind of an asshole? He's an asshole. Talk shit to Yolanda Hadid. Yeah, he's a little um, bit of an asshole. But I would, pr I would go see him if it wasn't outrageous. Yeah, they have some, they have some jams. I could see like there being really good pop culture moments of people going to their concerts. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, and my last one mm -hmm. is, um, what is it? Oh, 
Hello, Aristor. Mm -hmm. Back to the Aristor. Mm -hmm. I think Miley Cyrus will do some sort of Aristor. I think it's the right move for her. And she'll bring in some Hannah. She'll bring in some Hannah Montana. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because she did that. I don't know what for what magazine it was. Variety. uh, Mm. What is it for? Where they like watch old clips of themselves? Probably Variety or like Vulture or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. And all those clips came out, and I watched pretty much the whole thing of her like watching old clips of herself, and it was like Hannah Montana, and it was Disney, and it was her early albums, yeah, and her talking about it like so fondly. When enough time has passed from things like that, you can like own it and embrace it and talk about it, like you said, fondly. Versus when you're trying to reinvent yourself and maybe even on the second iteration of what that reinvention looks like, you don't want to talk about that first right. version of yourself because you're trying to remove yourself from that. Right. And sometimes you overcorrect and then you whatever, like, you know, get on a wrecking ball and pasties. Wild. But that was my favorite album of hers. <laughs> oh, was I, that was when jams. I got super into Miley. Jams. I would I would probably go see that concert. Yeah. Oh, I would no no. I would see this is where we this is where I differ. From the One Direction, like, oh, if it wasn't outrageous, I would pay probably outrageous money to go see a Miley yeah. Eras because from day one, from the Hannah Montana days, I've been a fan. Imagine she just, like, comes in on the wrecking ball, like Phantom of the Opera, you know, like the chandelier. And she's it. just injected in, like, into my ball. veins. She's a great singer. I think that people who don't know or don't listen to her music in a serious way, or maybe they just hear it in passing and they're just like, oh, Miley, whatever. But if they actually sat down and listened to an album and gave it a chance, they'd be very surprised about oh, how she's, talented she she's is. She's extremely talented. Same thing with, you know, Taylor Swift non-fans making it their whole personality, like I always say. Mm-hmm. If you really give something a chance, like, yeah. it's really hard to have so much hatred toward it. Yeah. You can be like, it's not my cup of tea. Right. But right. to just not appreciate them as an artist at all because right. of the name and the stigma that's attached yeah. to them, like, get over yourself. Come yep. On. Yep. So um, I hope... We'll see if my predictions come true. Let's remember these in case. Revisit them on episode 40. Oh, God. (laughs) Seven and a half. I can't do math. We'll see what happens. (laughs) All right. um, What's next? Mm. Fantasy? Fantasy. A.K. Robin's fantasy football team, not mine. Let's do it. So when we last chatted, I had a bye week. Yes. Um, And we were going into the second round of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had St. Brown, Jackson, and Gibbs in the double digits that game. Mm-hmm. I had Eckler, A-Chan, Waddle got injured mm-hmm. with like three, five, eight points. I had the Dallas defense, negative two. Oh. And Harrison Butker, a big old zero. Not butt kiss. So uh, George Pickens was uh, 35.5 on a bench. No, <laughs> not the bench. <laughs> It oh. wouldn't have mattered, though. I lost terribly. Oh. <laughs> it was so disappointing. <laughs> Dang, Robin. Yeah. I lost, like, by 45 points. Wah, wah. Oh, God. Yeah. So it was Well, you just had, like, low numbers across yeah. the board. Yeah. It, we were talking about it last night. We went out to um, do a white elephant with my league last night, whenever that was. Yeah. And um, we, I said we say this every year but we were we probably do but this year really did feel kind of crazy like very up and down Uh, i would agree some people would be on a roll i would agree um i think it was last season somebody was just losing every single week there was none of that it was really all over the place i would agree 100 percent. yeah records would be terrible and then all of a sudden they're tied with for second i mean i was on a run for a little bit there um i really had some high hopes i've never won uh it's my 10th year in the league. It's the 11th year of the league, which, by the way, Betty gave me permission to tell this story. Okay, hit me. So I had just become friends with Betty and that friend group right around this time. And I was like, oh, y'all are starting a fantasy football league. Like, the guys are in one. You know, can I be in it? And mm-hmm. she told me no because she didn't know me very well. Okay. So I'm not trying to make her out to be a giant jerk. I think it's a legitimate concern with, you know, my – however old self young 20 self being all bravado and you know she thought it was going to be too competitive too competitive yeah like not in like a fun way in like a trash trash talking or like take it too seriously or like be weird about it i don't know i don't know i want competitive people in my league yeah not competitive like that they like you want people to care and you want people but to you be don't want a good people competition. To be rude about but you don't it. want people to be jerks. About I got you. I got so you. obviously she didn't know me very well. So yeah. uh, they let me in the next year, and yeah. so that we've now 
um, this was our 11th year and I've been with them 10 of those seasons, but I was at her house the other night and I was like, remember when you wouldn't let me in because you thought I was going to be a jerk? She's like, now I sound like a jerk. <laughs> but I, I mean, most of the, it's really cool, especially for her as our commissioner, because most people in our league didn't know each other before we started the league. Oh, so that's it was like cool. a couple friends from this part of her that's life, cool. this childhood friend, these new friends, this mm-hmm. work friend, mm-hmm. like the girl who won this year, Katie was a work friend first. Oh, cool. So that was really cool for her to bring that friend group together and now see it 11 years later. So, you know, she had to be a little protective of who she totally. let into that very special totally. thing. So I get it. But thanks for letting me in. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe one day I'll win. I've also never won the consolation bracket which if you win the consolation bracket, uh, you get first pick next year. Ooh. And then you have to wear the V-jacket. What is the V-jacket, It's exactly Robin? what it sounds like. Uh, created by all of us. <laughs> jean jacket with a lovely painting on the back. And I think the top five people get to tell you a place that you have to wear it. And you just have to wear it there and take a photo uh, throughout the year before you give it to the next person. Okay. We've kind of slowed that down a little bit. Now it's just like hey, take some pictures in it throughout the year in some fun places. So, yeah. you know, if you go to a wine tour or whatever, so winery tour. you've never tour, won the V-Jacket. Never won the V-Jacket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's always next year. Uh, but I did win third place. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't think that Christine realized that we were playing for third place and that, like, I don't think that she realized that third place got their money back. Oh. Because she played Monster and he was out. Oh, probably. But I I mean, I I got like 130 points. Yeah. So I might have still beat her. But either way, I got my 50 bucks back. Solid. (laughs) Solid. Congratulations. It was a good run for us. It was. I got second place last year, third place this year. So next year I'm going for the gold. That's right. Okay. Well, now we've got to come up with something to fill this. Yeah. Any ideas for a segment segment to fill in for fantasy or a rotating segment? We've got some ideas. Yeah. um, let us know if y'all have any ideas for stuff you'd like to see us talk about or games to play or whatever. Well, now that I'm not playing fantasy anymore, because mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> I sucked, <laughs> I am all in on, which I'm always all in on them, but I'm mm-hmm. paying more closely attention to now that we're getting close to playoffs, um, my Houston Texans. So we play this weekend mm-hmm. um, when this comes out tomorrow. And we play the Colts. And if we win, we win the division and we're going to the playoffs. Oh, wow. So we need to win is what go I'm saying. Go Texans. Go Texans. Yay, football. There there we go, Robin. It is really weird having fantasy be over, though. Yeah. It's I don't weird. love it. I don't love it either because it consumed my life. I actually Hello, have an idea. it was appointment for me. Hit the waiver wire, right. all the things. I do have an idea of something that we can talk about, though. It's going to be part of my rec. Okay, great. Okay. Shall we go to Rex? To the Rex. My rec, a mm-hmm. little bit of a two-parter. Okay. Um, I'm intrigued. Is one, re-watching shows that you haven't seen in years and years and years that you right. watched long ago. Yeah. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, two, Grey's Anatomy. Oh. I did it over the break. I said, I've been thinking about it. I wanted to re-watch something I hadn't seen Isn't in it like 20 seasons? Hold up. Okay. And I was like... Okay, I have not seen the beginning of Grey's Anatomy in I don't know how many years. Right. I'm going to rewatch it and, you know, it's it's a wonderful show. But I was like, I wonder if it's as good as I remember it being and why I've been so hooked on it for all these years. I've never seen it. Oh, my God. I am. I'm on season three already. Nice. I am in it. McDreamy, mm-hmm. McSteamy. Mm-hmm. I've heard. I'm on season three. And Robin, one thing about Grey's is... They have they play iconic songs when iconic moments are happening. Right. Isn't that the song the There's, titles of the songs or lyrics of the songs are the titles of the episodes or something like titles that? Titles of the episodes are lyrics of songs. But that's mm-hmm. not even that's well, another fun fact oh, about okay. Grey's Anatomy. Um, but also like Chasing Cars by Snow Snow Patrol, mm-hmm. it plays every time someone's dying. Ugh. And they it's like this, ugh. It's so dramatic in the oh. best way. And then also when something iconic is happening, good or bad, they play How to Save a Life by The Fray. Oh, wow. And it's just, I've already heard Chasing Cars twice and How to Save a Life once, and Spoiler I'm on season alert. three. Well, there's, I'm, just kidding. I, I'm <laughs> not saying any spoilers because I honestly, it's like I'm watching it for the first time. It's been so long. That's fun. I've only yeah. seen a couple episodes here and there. I also read an article one time that if you rewatch shows that you've already seen, 
it's like a comfort mm-hmm. thing, and I 100% agree. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, because I watched... I did a Gossip Girl rewatch mm-hmm. over the pandemic. I did a, I've done a Gilmore Girls rewatch probably I've, four or five times. I do Gilmore Girls almost mm-hmm. like every year, other, every other year. I'll yeah. do a Gil- Gilmore Girls just because mm-hmm. it's so easy. Yeah. Well, in Friends, I'm constantly rewatching. Right. Um, but Grey's, I'm in for the long haul. I will say when... I, I'm not going to do any spoilers. In case one of y'all wants to get crazy and start it, mm-hmm. there is a point where I will not watch any longer after someone dies after someone dies gotcha but it's it's way down the line so i've got a while okay but yeah that's my my rec is maybe rewatch an old show it's give you some comfort and if you need one grace Anatomy is a great great option cool all right what you got was it a two-parter well my two-parter was rewatch an old show slash and grace anatomy got it, got it yeah okay my recommendation is the show on netflix called the traitors okay i believe I, it's on netflix i believe i have heard of this it is so good. Okay. So it's exactly what it sounds like. You know, reality show, competition show. There's a traitor. They try to vote off the traitor. Some people are faithful. Some people are traitors. If the traitors so left So they get the assigned end, if they're a traitor or not mm-hmm, when they come in. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the traitors work together and they, you know, murder people at night. It's like Among Us. But it's like really, Mafia? Yeah. Okay. Um, And then, you know, everybody tries to vote someone out and they reveal whether or not they're the traitor or if they're faithful and whoever's remaining at the end, um, if there is a trader amongst them, the trader wins all of the money that they've earned because nice. they do challenges and earn money. But if it's all faithfuls, they split it. Okay. So I watched the first season of the U.S. one. Okay. Then I went and watched the... Can you tell me who's on the first season? Um, like anyone I would know? Um, anyone big? I'm trying to remember. It's. I'm trying to remember if I actually watched season... No. I'm confusing two shows now. So I watched season one of The Traders a while ago. Okay. And it had like Kate from Below Deck on it. It had Brandy Glanville on it from Real Housewives. And then it had it had a mixture of reality stars and, you know, non-reality stars. Okay. And then I was like, I remember that show. I, I want to see if they have it in other countries. Mm. And so I watched season one of the UK one. I watched season one of the Canada one. Okay. And then I wanted more shows like that. So then I went and I found The Mole. Oh, yeah, The Mole. U.S. I know The Mole. So very similar. Yeah, you, they're trying to figure out who The Mole is. Yeah, but yeah. in that one, there's and only one like mole. And they're like sabotaging. Yeah. And, yeah. That one's only one mole, and they're sabotaging. And the other one, there's multiple traders. Maybe a trader leaves. Do they, know? they can recruit another Do they trader. Know who the other yeah. traders are. Okay. So if, they, if a trader gets caught, they can, like, recruit. Sometimes they can choose if they want to take the offer or not. If they okay. sometimes if they don't take the offer, they have to go home. So okay. all that stuff with the mole is just one mole. They're right. trying to sabotage. The trader does not want to sabotage because they want the money. Got it. Um, and then I couldn't find any more of um the mole or the or the traders. They exist, but it's just you can't watch them. Oh well, that sucks. Yeah. So then I watched the Circle Brazil. Okay. Because I've watched all of the circles. I know, it's a lot of TV. Do you remember when you said, remember this? Because you're yep. going to be like, what I the know. heck? I know, I know. I'm saying, what but the heck? But when I'm in that mood, I just want that type of show. And I want every single show that's like that. Robin, Daisy Jones and the Six is so up your alley, it's know, not even funny. You little musical. I know, I know. So okay. I've watched <laughs> all of the Circle countries except for Brazil because they're the only one that doesn't have the dub, the voiceover. Mm. And so you have to literally read sit there the whole and time. read it. So I have, I'm only about halfway through that one. But um, it made me think when I was Googling, oh, I wonder if they're going to do another season. And they are of the Traders U.S. And it comes out this month. It comes out on January 12th. Okay. So I, you know how I always talk about the challenge, but I haven't like gone mm-hmm. in. I've There's some drama going on on the current season of the challenge because one of the guys from the challenge is going to be on Trader season two. Which one? Johnny Bananas. I wanted to tell you that. Oh, well, Johnny Bananas is going to... The, the reason I know this is because there's drama with him and his girl that he was with because she's on the challenge and he was on... They were filming mm-hmm. separately and okay. they were both getting a little busy, if you know what I mean. Gotcha. So gotcha. there was some drama there. Yeah. Um, But I did know he was going to be on okay. season two, but I've never seen season any of them. Uh, you're going to love it. So this one is pretty much all reality people. Okay. So not only, Kaylee... This has been killing me not telling you this. Oh, uh, okay. Guess who else is on it? From the challenge? Mm-hmm. Traitors, which means it's usually bad people. Look at the face I'm giving you. CT. Yes. <gasps> Y'all. Okay. 
I'm going to make a promise now that next episode I'm doing a deep dive on the challenge. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I talk about it. So and then I, we all can watch. see why I have this excitement. Yeah. I love CT. And that'll prep us for, because after next episode is when the first three episodes of the traders come out. So we're going to so do we can a, recap a segment. It. Yeah. I like it. I dig so it. So it has Johnny Bananas, CT. God. It's got Ek and Sue. Oh my God. Lyell, you actress. Lyell, get the fuck out. The- <laughs> <laughs> it's got Bergy. From Love Island? Yes. Okay, that doesn't seem the, like the evil person. It has two survivor people. Oh. Sandra or Sandra? Oh, Sandra. She's a villain. And Par... Parvati? Yes. Oh, Parvati. So she's known. She's amazing. She's won. She was known for coming on there and flirting with all the guys and getting her way. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's great. Um, it has Peppermint from RuPaul's Drag Race. Got nothing. Um, It's got Dan... Geesling from Big Brother. Oh, Dan. Yeah. Oh, Dan was on like an old season of Big Brother. Mm-hmm. I do see. I watched most of these. Yeah. It's got Larsa Pippen, um, Michael Jordan's son, Marcus. And I'm like, didn't I hear that Michael Jordan's son and Larsa Pippen are going to get married? And yeah. your name's going to be Larsa Pippen Jordan? Yes, correct. Okay. Well, he's on there. Interesting. Um, MJ from- Wait, did they like meet on that? I don't know. I don't know how long they've been together. Maybe. Um, MJ from Shaws of Sunset from Bravo. Kevin from Bling Empire on Netflix. Did you ever watch that? No. Nope. Um, Peter Weber from Bachelor. Oh, my God. Um, and then it has three housewives. It That's has Pilot Pete, Robin. Oh, Pilot Pete. That's literally Pilot Pete. Mm-hmm. Um, what is this? Is this crazy? And then it has three housewives. Tamara from the OC and then Phaedra and Sheree from um, Atlanta. Nice. Yep. And then the last one. I didn't even write his name down. A uh, former speaker of the House of Commons. Okay. Apparently he was a big scandal where he was a bunch of people, like 30-something people came out against him for bullying. Oh. He's a serious bully. So he was pretty controversial. He changed parties. He was right wing and then he joined the Libertarian or the something with an, oh, I can't think of a Labor Party? Something in the UK. Wow. That starts with an L. So controversial guy, John something with a C. Okay. So they just threw in that guy. We got a lot going on. Okay, great. I can't yep. wait to watch. So my rec, all that to say is, is like to go back and watch season one of the US one and then that you'll be ready for season two of the US one because it's all reality okay. stars versus season one which is just a few reality stars. Okay. And then if you really like it, there's a Canada and a <laughs> UK and great. all the above. Great. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay. I'm going to go watch season one so that I'm great. ready for season two. Perfect. All right, well, this was fun. This was so fun. It's so good to be back. I know, right? That's all we have for y'all this week, but check out next week where we will be talking about the challenge and Wait. traders and all that fun you stuff. You need to just be ready for me to talk about the challenge for a good amount of time. Okay. But it'll be good. I might do some research so I have some background to contribute. <laughs> yes, <laughs> some background. Because I did watch quite a bit of the challenge and the the duel and all the different uh, the versions that ones. they would do. Yeah. yeah, with the road rules, real uh, world. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and then they would do like the partners and the 2v2 and the, the gauntlet. Was and the, the rivals, yeah. his exes. I oh. watched all those too. So I'll have, I'll have some stuff to Can't wait. With. Yep. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all the things. On all the things. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all the things. And we'll see you next week. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.